60 years ago, the Trans Mountain Pipeline began responsibly transporting energy products. Looking ahead, an expanded Trans Mountain system can deliver the same safe and reliable service and additional jobs and expanded economic benefits for BC and Alberta communities. The goal for the expansion project is to follow the existing Trans Mountain right of way, where there have been significant land use changes, particularly in urban areas since 1953, alternatives were explored with a focus on minimizing impacts to landowners and the public. Starting in spring 2012, an open and inclusive approach was developed to solicit the expertise and interests of stakeholders. This thorough and transparent approach to finding the final location of the pipeline involves extensive studies and ongoing community dialogue. In-person and online engagement initiatives, routing studies, environmental studies, and survey work were conducted as part of preparing the National Energy Board facilities application. In the spring and fall of 2013, the proposed corridor was shared with the public and stakeholders to gather input. The pipeline study corridor is anywhere between 30 meters and 150 meters wide and shows the area in which Trans Mountain would like to put the pipeline. The area is wider than the typical construction footprint and considerably wider than the typical permanent right-of-way. This is in order to ensure there's flexibility to respond to stakeholder input or place the pipe in the area that best minimizes local impacts, identified through the detailed design process. The facility's application to the National Energy Board was filed December 16, 2013, with the proposed pipeline corridor and, in some cases, proposed alternative study corridors. The study corridors filed with the NEB will continue to be reviewed based on input from landowners, Aboriginal groups and stakeholders. In some cases, a corridor alternative may be further developed and adopted as part of the selected route after further studies and consultations are completed. A switch from the proposed corridor to the alternative corridor would result in Trans Mountain submitting a supplemental filing to the NEB. Trans Mountain endeavors to always directly contact any landowner potentially affected by any study corridor or corridor alternative that directly impacts property. Trans Mountain commits that no one will lose their homes because of the proposed pipeline routing. If the project is approved by the NEB, the exact location of the pipeline will be finalized in late 2015. Field studies and engagement opportunities continue to help refine the pipeline corridor. For up-to-date information, visit transmountain.com.